This is Richard Nascara at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and I'm here to show you how to completely opt out of Facebook's new Instant Personalization feature. Instant Personalization is a new Facebook program designed to share your personal information with other websites. We had a video teaching privacy-minded users how to opt out completely, but Facebook changed the interface, so this is an update to that video. So we're going to start here with our blog post and take these steps. But remember, you have to be logged in to Facebook first. All right, step one. We're going to go to the Instant Personalization Privacy Settings page and uncheck the Allow button. So go ahead and click on this link. So here we have some text telling us about Instant Personalization, and here's the checkbox we're looking for. Allow select partners to instantly personalize their features with my public information when I first arrive on their websites. I want to opt out, so we're going to uncheck this. Now, we have a little text box asking us if we're sure. Let's read this fine print just to take a look. Please keep in mind that if you opt out, your friends may still share public information about you to personalize their experience on these partner sites unless you block the application. So that's going to be our next step. We're going to block the application individually. But for now, we want to finish opting out, so let's go ahead and click Confirm. Notice the checkbox is unchecked, so now I'm opted out. So go ahead and click the back button on your browsers to go back to the blog post. All right. right now, there are three other websites that are using instant personalization. So we're going to go ahead and block them. But there may be more websites using this in the future. So let's go ahead with step two. We're going to click it through to the page from Microsoft Docs. Here we see the application page. And right here, underneath the picture, we have an option that says block application. So let's go ahead and click that. It's going to ask us if we're sure, and go ahead and click block docs. OK, now that that's done, we'll hit back. And then now we'll move on to step three, which will do the same thing for Pandora. Click on this link, go to the block application option, go ahead and click, and then click to confirm. OK, we're going to hit back one more time. Now we're going to go do it for Yelp. Go ahead and click on this link. Find the option to block application, click on that, and then click to confirm. OK, great. Now there's a fifth step, and it's optional. You can go to the Facebook site governance page and let them know that you care about your privacy and keeping your personal information on Facebook. That's it for now. Return to EFF.org for future updates on how to protect your privacy on Facebook and beyond.